if you still have the like 2010 limited edition Shrek cups that they gave out at McDonald's that got recalled because there was like lead poisoning in the ink and you still drink out of it don't worry about what's welcome back to episode 11 of may i get that with no ice please this is the perfect example of a customer that has tried to save money on something that they shouldn't save money on look at how dirty the machine is they called in very late in the day because the machine stopped producing ice i'm pretty sure you guys can take a wild guess why it stopped working look at how dirty and filthy it looks all that black mold on it. If you've seen in previous episodes, all these parts are clear. All these parts of the ice machine are clear parts. So we applied some chemical to remove all that, all that scale. And yeah, it's a pain in the butt to get it cleaned out, to get it up to standard. But like if you've seen the other videos, we try our best to leave them as clean as possible because we want customers to be provided with clean ice. As you can see, it looks like a brand new machine. We cleaned it out completely, took it completely apart got it all cleaned out the parts look like brand new parts this is where the ice was sitting on we got that sanitized as well Where have you used your spin mop? I mean, besides cleaning your floors. I mean, I've used them to clean my tub and tiles, on my baseboards and up high, on my walls, and even on my blinds. But I know there's more hacks. Share them. My art room sink with me part one. I only have a few non-negotiables when it comes to cleaning. I'm pretty flexible most of the time just considering what we have going on in a day. But one of the things that always happens without fail is the kitchen gets cleaned at night. It does not matter if all hell has broken loose in the day, the kitchen will always be immaculate at end of day. This is a big deal for someone who has five young kids and a baby and several dogs to feed in the morning. 
coming down to a clean kitchen really starts my day off in a very positive way. And I have to shout out my older daughter who is such an invaluable help to me in all things. I love you. So to get rid of furniture marks on your carpet. Place a damp towel over the mark and steam with an iron for 10 to 15 seconds. Remove the towel and gently groom with a fork and it's gone. Check out this before and after. Mix equal parts baking soda and hydrogen peroxide into a paste. Apply to grout and scrub with a soft bristle brush. Wipe with a damp towel and you'll be amazed. The thought of cleaning inside your oven makes your back hurt. Simply unlock the hinges and lift the door at a 75 degree angle. This will completely remove the door giving you great access for cleaning.